The Black Ops 6 open beta is here, and it is just fantastic. Now, on top of just having fun on the new Call of Duty, there are some great rewards you can unlock too, which will be usable on the full game or Warzone. The main one people will be aiming for is the Squash Operator skin, which you can unlock at level 20, and the Bug Smasher Weapon Blueprint, which you can unlock at level 30. Or, of course, you might just want to be ranking up weapons as fast as possible to try out some meta builds and try and survive in these mega sweaty lobbies. Well, this video's got you covered, because I'm going to show you how how to rank up weapons and your combat rank as fast as possible in the Black Ops 6 beta. But first, are you looking to unlock Modern Warfare 3 camos like Interstellar and Borealis completely legit? Or are you even wanting to grab the best schematics, maybe some bot lobbies or instant delivery of accounts? Be sure to check out Mitch Cactus. They're the biggest and most reliable sellers with loads of new offerings for Modern Warfare 3. This includes newly offered cheap COD points at a discount of over 60%. And with over 10,000 verified views on Trustpilot, Mitch Cactus is the go-to for all things Call of Duty. And you can use code SPRING for 5% off. Now the first thing to note is that the open beta is supposedly quicker to rank up weapons compared to the closed beta thankfully, as it was particularly painful when getting hammered by jackals every game. But in terms of the best method this game, it's all about focusing on objectives. Black Ops 6 overwhelmingly rewards playing more for the objective compared to say just getting pure kills, which is partly why score streaks have made a return. Even just damaging enemies and getting the assist grants a lot of XP. You can get the top end kill streaks just by being an objective player, and I'm talking even without getting kills, which at the same time grants us a lot of XP towards ranking up and our weapon rank. So with the objective being key, I advise not to camp and worry too much about your KD or anything like that. I mean it is a beta after all. None of these stats are going to carry through to the full game. To maximize XP whilst playing objective minded, of course sitting on the point in hardpoint for example grants XP, but so does getting kills whilst on the point or killing enemies on it. If you do have a nice play and get a multi-kill on the point, this is going to grant you so much more XP for your rank and weapon compared to just getting those kills sat in a cupboard on the other side of the map. In terms of modes, we'll want to play faster paced and longer game modes like hardpoint, although we don't get too much choice in the beta since they're usually within mosh pit modes. But we'll see if there are playlist updates throughout the open beta period. The good thing is that most of the maps on the beta are good for XP, although there is the map pit, which is super small with loads of action and does grant the best XP per minute although quite like shipment, too much of this can just drive you insane. Then on top of all this, there are challenges to complete too. Even though it is just the beta, there are loads of challenges you can complete, including daily challenges. These are gonna elevate us a lot, especially in those lower ranks, so I would focus on trying to complete them rather than semi-ignoring them and hoping you complete them by coincidence. Hopefully this gets you ranking up faster in Black Ops 6. Now if you want to make the most of your time in the beta and master the movement, join me over in this video for all of the best settings in Black Ops 6.